know, I have Christian Bale playing this guy who, with a belly and a comb over and who's a very stylish and confident and warm-hearted, soulful eyes, yet a criminal. And yet so many women who have seen the film tell me how undeniably sexy they find him, which, which I find funny, but that's also what makes sense to me. And that's what he says. You know, that's what his character says. And it's not just about conning, it's about life. It's about confidence. The word con is based on the word confidence. You know, it's not just a trick. You have to give yourself confidence every day. the Sidney Prosser character, who also known as Edith Greensley. A girl we find out has come from, like him, a bit of a limited past, but with big aspirations. And she brings her dreams to Irving. And together they, like as two, and, and the love they share is like a special power they have that gives them a magical power. And at the core of it, to me, it was a love story. In addition to her soulfulness and her intensity, I love bringing out a kind of vixen in her, you know, um, a, a mastermind, because she is, as a person, incredibly smart, Amy is, and she is very intuitive. So I built the character of Sydney slash Edith um, on my sense of, of, of Amy in a little bit. I want the women to be as strong as the male characters, and I want them to be very powerful presences. Um, I think the whole movie elevates to an extremely rich world when the women are, are strong, extremely strong, and extremely complicated. Irving has two complicating factors in his life. He's made himself as a new person in a, in a very successful, charming life with the love of his life. And then we find out he has a son and a wife who are not, and he loves the son, but the wife's a problem. And she's a complicated, cunning, and charged person. And that's the character of Rosalind Rosenfeld, whose, whose difficultness and craziness becomes her genius in a way, is as much her genius, and could only be played as charmingly and unpredictably as, as Jennifer Lawrence plays it. Bradley sometimes would improvise in ways that were, would affect the scene. Um, he's kind of a, a remarkable collaborator, not only, I mean, I would be happy to make any film with him because he is a, thinks like a filmmaker and he's very generous. So he thinks of every, what's best for every character in a scene, not not just his character. Romance is very important to me, and for me that's what the center of the film is romance. It's their romance for each other, Irving's and Sidney's, and it's the romance that happens briefly between Richie and Sidney, and the flickering romance of the dying marriage between Irving and Rosalind, so, and, and actually the, the uh, friendship between Irving and Carmine. These are all, and Carmine's marriage with Dolly. These are all, there's romance in all of these things. There's romance, and, and, and what Irving's art is imparts romance. He's, he's talking about how to enchant and get people to believe and want, or put their dreams. What do people dream about? What do they want? That's what motivates people. What makes them excited? What, what makes them want to be part of something? That's what he does as his art.